as we all know, um, health is a big component of uh, what affects uh, the people of Kenya. Um, we have committed ourselves jointly uh, between the national government and the counties on collaborating on this very important subject that is otherwise devolved to the counties, but that requires our collaboration and working together because uh, matters health are very serious. We all know statistics show that close to a million people every year go into bankruptcy because of hospital bills. Uh, we also know that uh, we spend a significant portion of our budgets, especially the counties, on matters health. And we as a nation, we've been trying to resolve this jigsaw around health for the last almost 15 years. I remember uh, in the Grand Coalition government when uh, Professor Anyang Yong was uh, our Minister for Health, we had a go at it. We had a go again when uh, uh, Charity Ngilu was uh, Minister for Health. We again tried uh, with the Jubilee administration in uh, 20, uh, um, 2017, 18, 20. And we ran into a lot of uh, difficulties. I, I remember uh, uh, one of the counties that was the pilot was Nyeri, and we ran into a lot of problems. And we had to announce that this thing has failed. So uh, when, um, uh, and, and it was something that I was very passionate about, uh, because if we can solve this question of health, then we will have solved one of the very big problems we've always had as a country. All of you remember that the many arambes we used to hold in the past was for school fees. But after what we did around education, that problem has, there are no more arambes anymore about the school fees. They are very, very exceptional situations. The only problem that we still have is Harambe's around Mata's health. And that is why it is important for us to solve this uh, uh, health uh, puzzle. And it requires the concerted effort of all of us. Uh, I remember very clearly uh, um, asking Mahmoud here to be the chair of NHIF because I wanted to do some work around it. And he did a wonderful job in NHIF. But we couldn't get it quite to the place where we wanted it to be. And learning from the experiences of uh, what we did in a Grand Coalition government, what we did as the Jubilee administration, we've gathered a body of experience on how not to do it. You know, they say, when somebody tries to do something, if he succeeds, he achieves what he's doing. If he fails, at least he has one lesson, how not to do it. For us to deliver on universal health, first, we need a legal framework that will support it. And that is why we went to parliament, we um, worked on a, a, a legal framework that now gives us, uh, we have now four pieces of legislation that will underpin uh, this uh, universal health coverage. Uh, speaking to the, 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 the areas that uh, were problematic in the attempt, the earlier attempts at universal health coverage. So we, we have tried using the legislation we have to address the areas that resulted in us not achieving the intention of universal health coverage as we have all been looking forward to as a nation. The very positive thing about this matter of uh, universal health is that it is a shared, um, a, a shared issue. 
It is shared across the political formations. If you look at the manifesto of Kenya Kwanza, universal health coverage is part of it. If you look at the manifesto of Azimio, universal health coverage is part of it. So this is an area where we can all work together without the you know, constraints of political formations. I think, again, we've tried as much as possible to harmonize our views and our um, uh, plans from uh, between the national government and the county government. And I must commend uh, the leadership of the Council of Governors for you know, uh, forging the, uh, the, 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 the meeting of minds and uh, trying to uh, converge our, our thoughts around this, uh, around this effort. Um, some counties um, had what we called initially community health volunteers, others did not have, but progressively we've all agreed that it's a good concept and we have harmonized our thoughts. And today I think we are significantly aligned on the subject of uh, community health volunteers and we have now called them community health promoters. And I must say, I have been in every part of Kenya. And those community health promoters are doing a wonderful job. It is very important that uh, each and every state department and ministry that is supposed to play a role apply their mind and, 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 and pay attention to what they are supposed to contribute. Because this is a very big program. It involves not a section of Kenyans. It's not about farmers or about teachers. It is about the 55 million Kenyans. It's about everybody. So it is, it is, that, it is that important that it is that serious. So to all of us, you know, uh, we need to mobilize society to understand what it is that we are trying to achieve. Communication is going to be very important. Like, for example, just listening to what we have been talking about here, what kind of communication are we going to be giving to uh, our Ngao and CHPs? Why should a Kenyan register? Yeah? We need to be clear why they should register. They should register so that each one of us can access health. For those who can afford, then they will be in the scheme. For those who you need to register so that if you cannot afford, the government can then budget to pay for you. That's why you need to register. You need to register because when your child goes to school, we want every child covered. We want every child's uh, medical uh, uh, attention to be provided. But you have to register so that your child is captured. You know, by registering, you will register together with your family. And then, so that when your child goes to school, they are in the system for them to be covered by government and by uh, the health uh, uh, services that we are providing. So we need to be basic, but very clear, so that people know why they have to register. The people in energy, and the people in ICT. Those hospitals that have no electricity will not be able to run some of the facilities. Many facilities require energy. So where there is no electricity, we are asking the Ministry of Energy to provide solar connection. Where there is no internet, because we are now going to deliver this on a digital a platform where there is no internet, let us use satellite to make sure that we deliver internet in those areas so that every part of Kenya is covered. For um, all the other departments that are supposed to play a role, go out of your way. You know, the Ministry of Education should mobilize uh, students so that uh, they become part of the registration process and making sure that uh, we don't leave nobody behind. So, indigents, uh, Ministry of, um, of uh, Finance, 
begin to internalize what is the, what is the budget outlay, what are the priority areas, what do we need when, so that we can uh, uh, provide for, for that service. The people in um, uh, um, um, citizen services, all people traveling to Kenya must be covered so that, uh, and so the, 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 the health insurance cover for people traveling to Kenya, which, which is already in the ecosystem, should now be brought into place so that if any person traveling in Kenya becomes sick or get involved in an accident, there is a mechanism for them to be treated without necessarily as uh, incurring uh, unnecessary uh, expenses. They, they should be able to be covered by the cover they are, they are going to get. So this is a whole of government approach. I'm very happy with the progress that has been made, but it is not done until it is done. And 1st of October, it is. We have now come to the point where we are going to roll out UHC. And the date is 1st of October. Uh, and, 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 and we just needed to harmonize our, 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 our thoughts on it. I know there's been a lot of work that has gone on between the Ministry of Health and the Council back and forth in, in, in different fora. We have aligned ourselves um, with all the um, uh, necessary interventions. The registration of uh, uh, members into uh, social health authority is on now ongoing. I was told this morning we have 1.2 million people, new people into the system. Uh, we should be able by next week to transfer and transit um, the 9 million members in, uh, in, in NHIF now to the new uh, framework, and that will significantly uh, give us the numbers to be able to uh, move uh, uh, forward beginning fast. So um, there are various areas that uh, we, we need to uh, hem in our thoughts and uh, converge uh, so that we can all get on to a smooth runway in, uh, on, on 1st of uh, October. It is the reason why I requested for this meeting, so that we can just give you uh, um, what the situation is now and uh, how we are going to uh, get to the 1st and on to an, a new uh, place and a new um, mechanism of delivering health universally uh, around, around Kenya.